Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it is that time again when we do our completed pages for the month. So I completed 13 pages in February and I'm pleased with that because I've done a lot of reading as well. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, all the pictures I was coloured. I've got quite a few whips on the go that I'd never finished in the month. I've got one in the Colour in Heaven magazine. I've got one in uh, a Camellia Angel Cover pattern book. I've got one in Jan Puff's collection, Dreams collection book. Um, but these are the ones I actually completed. So first of all, I completed one in Cupid Cuties by Adebara Muller did this one on camera if I remember rightly and I like this one and I know I haven't filmed a lot of, of Karen chats lately it's been one hell of a weird month so yeah so there's uh, that one this was done using uh, I think obviously the touch touch new markers touch new skin tones I'm gonna say it was the um, Everblend uh, with there's some glitter and gel or some something like that over the hearts and the stars is um, I think looking at it it's Sakura Jelly Roll not brilliantly done but it's hard to see but yeah I like that one and I, I like the book so that was the first one I did one, I'm just moving something out of the way, in the Jade Summer Emoji Colouring Book. I think this book is so cute. And again, this was just done with, I think it was done with the Shuttle Arts. Yeah. And I did this one with the um, pizza and the fries and the burgers. I, and I did a nice background. I really like this book. I think it's fun. So, yeah, that was definitely done with the Shuttle Art markers. And I just did it for a laugh. I, I enjoyed doing it. It was just so simple and easy to colour. It was just a bit of fun. Like, as you know, I'm trying to get um, some of my uh, books that I haven't coloured in off. It's, it's sort of like the uh, whole uh, Cully Horde 2021, although I don't post on Instagram enough. I'll admit that I want to start doing it and hashtagging that. So maybe I'll try and do that this month in March. But yeah, that's such a cute book. I'm definitely going to colour that again. Another Jade Summer book I hadn't coloured in before that I have now coloured in is Beautiful Dresses. Um, had this one a long time. I think it's out of print now. I'm not sure. It might not be. And I did this one in uh, Shades of Blue. I know I made the plants look like they're cannabis done. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, li I like that. And again, it was just done with markers. Touch new markers for the skin. And uh, poss probably Shuttle Arts, I think, for the rest of it. And then some silver and blue gel pen glitter gel pen on the dress yeah I enjoyed doing that I do love the way the markers go down in the Jade summer books they do go down rather well I did one in the uh, relax with art issue 76 and I did this with markers and I don't like the way it looks um, it looks better now but it didn't look very good to start with and it looks better on camera um, the girl in the wardrobe showing off her fancy clothes. Yeah, I wasn't keen on the way. It looks better now. I did go over her skin with polychromos because um, the skin looked really patchy. It was really badly patchy. Um, I'm going to try using my prismas in the, in the next one I colour in, which I will hopefully do this month. But yeah, that was just done with the Touch, touch 5 skin tones and the shuttle arts. You can tell they're all the same. I did one in the Jade Summer Amazing Patterns, 100 Amazing Patterns, because I love doing the patterns. I'm not going to lie. I love, I like patterns. And I did this one, and this one was just using some of my metal metallic pens. It looks better on camera than it does in real life, but uh, it was just a bit of fun. I thought, I'm going to use these pens up. I never use them. And normally you wouldn't use them to colour a whole picture, like you would say glitter gel pens, but you do them for accents and stuff. But I just thought, let's have a go, let's have some fun. So yeah, that was, that's that one, <laughs> as you can tell. I did one in the Colour by Numbers Christmas book by Jade Summer, just because 
I only did one in it at Christmas and I thought I'm just going to pick a book and colour in it and I grabbed this one off the shelf. And again, Shuttle Arts, I think, or oh, it might be been Limoches. Actually no, it was Limoche, it was the Limoches, I'm going to have to, uh, there's not enough in the Shuttle Arts for them unfortunately. Like I said, I'm going to go through the markers and um, pick out the 30 I need and then Jennifer can have the rest until I can afford to get some more because I don't want to spend money on, on things like that but I do want to do them. Yeah, that was quite a nice one to do. I finally, finally finished my picture in Imagine Morphia. It took so long because I get bored with long pictures after a while. And I did do the uh, hot air balloons and I, I did enjoy doing it but I mean I started this last summer because I was doing I remember doing, doing this one out in the garden um, but it took a long time because I do and I missed a bit there I've missed one tiny little bit but I'll just go over that when I go upstairs I'm not worried about that just one tiny bit of green that I've missed that's okay it's, it's finished as far as I'm concerned I can get a pencil up in that minute and finish it off in five seconds um, but yeah, I did this one because it reminded me of uh, Bristol Bloom Fiesta. I used to live in Bristol when I was a child and I can remember looking out the window where I lived and seeing the blooms from the very first Bloom Fiesta going over. So, And this was done with uh, mostly polychromos, a few black widows and the sky was done with what are they called? Neo Colour 2. I only have like 11 year coats and I'm not very good with them but I do want to practice um, but yeah so that was that. I did one in mandalas for relaxation sunshine and meditation by Camellia Angel Cova and now I don't have tabs in all of them because Jennifer oops uh, moved my tabs and I don't know where they've gone and I did this one and this was done again using the shuttle art markers but the black one is just, is just black sharpie because uh, I couldn't find the uh, one in the shuttle arts and I want to crack on and I quite like that. I, I quite like putting black on here. It really makes the rest of the colours pop out. There we go. I, I go through these quite quickly because they've got nothing really to say unless there's something major on them. Uh, Beautiful Patterns by Jade Summer. This is the only book we've put out so far this year. I did the first one in the page with the Limoches. Again, I think I did two in this one actually. Yeah, I've done two in this one. So I did this one. I just love the colours on that one actually. And you can see there's a bit of me testing the page that pens there to see which red I wanted. And I also did this one. Which uh, I enjoyed. I, I love doing these colour by numbers. They are very, very relaxing. And just sit there and say, like, oh, I need that colour, that colour, that colour. Um, you know, there's only like, what, one, two, three, four colours on that, five colours on that page. So it was really easy to do. But they're really nice books. So apparently the next one is coming out sometime this month, the Jason book. I don't know whether it's going to be a colour by numbers or what. I'm waiting to find out. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, Clara Markova, Fairy Touch of Magic. This is one that hasn't got a, a thing in it because uh, when I finished this, I couldn't find it. And this did take a long time. So let me just find it. It's one of the ones at the beginning. It's not far through this picture full or something. And I can't find it at all now. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm too far forward already. There it is. I did this one. Just let it focus in and see if we can. There we go. Oh, there we go. So I did this one and I enjoyed doing this one. This was done uh, with the uh, polychromos. Totally with polychromos, even the background. And it was just lots and lots of light layers. I enjoyed this book. I love this book. I think it's beautiful. She looks a bit yellow, but that's because I'm doing this under normal lighting rather than daylight lighting like I normally do. So upstairs I've got a daylight bulb down here, it's tungsten, so not a lot I can do about that really. But yeah, I really love this picture, I really love this book, I'm going to colour in this again this month. Polychromos go down lovely on this paper. So I really enjoyed that one. Next one we did on camera and that uh, should be Harry Potter. So and we did the one with Snape and Ron and Harry. And that was done with the uh, Arteza Everblend and the Touch 5 Skin Tones, which I must take upstairs if I want to colour in a picture, <laughs> which I possibly will. You never know with me. So yeah, that's that one. That didn't take two. I was only two. Um, 
things and I really I really enjoyed it and the last one is from this then colouring magazine the calm and restful collection these are just uh, in the supermarkets I don't buy them all I buy them every now and again if I like them you know there's something to pick up and do something new and they're just patterns mostly and I sort of did these feathery ones and I did them with the um the Bic marking highlighters grip these pens I did them with the one row of lights and one row of brights and you can see where I've made a mistake I made a mistake there and I made a mistake there but it still just doesn't it doesn't look too bad it still looks uh, uh really it still looks really good like I said there's lots of really cool oh, look, I love that patterns I'll probably do one in glitter gel pens in this book at some point so those are all the books I coloured in in February I had a great month I really really enjoyed it I must admit I did some really I mean, it's a really difficult one in, in that one that took me a long time that was my big project for the month I finished off one of my other big projects which was the Imagine Morphia one so I'm really glad I did that um, I plan on starting Fragile World uh, among others <laughs> so many books I want to colour in oh and I'm gonna try not to buy very many at all in March I keep saying that and I bought 12 still there was one month last year I bought 20. Um, obviously I'll be getting Colour in Heaven because I always get Colour in Heaven. I will possibly get Relax with Art. Other than that, I don't know. Jade Summer possibly. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to see me colour in any of these books, just leave me a comment down below and, or any book at all that I've shown you in any of the videos. Uh, let me know if you want uh, let me know which one is your favorite picture and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone